we are now in the new moon Aries. This is April 1st, 2022, or it's going to be soon, but whenever I post this. So I am Fox Red Sky. I am your astrologer, your soul coach, and your host for Astrology Obsessed. your first time to my channel be sure to like comment and subscribe yes 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 also if you there's a link below if you're interested in a private astrology reading or one-on-one -on -one coaching because you know you want to up that life level soul level actually I like to call it soul level so we are discussing the Aries new moon April 1st 2022 so First of all, what is the new moon and what is Aries energy? So whenever we have a new moon, it means that the moon is the same sun sign. Well, they're, they're in the same sun sign. So the moon and the sun are in the same sun sign. So that's where we get that new moon. It's basically dark in the sky. So, And Aries energy is like, vroom, vroom. Let us go, run, run, run. You know, we want to go do things. We got to go do it. And now, and now, and now. <laughs> and so it's a fire sign. It's a masculine sign. It's a cardinal sign. And it is ruled by Mars, which is the god of war. So, and it is the, it is defined by the ram or um, represented by the ram. And this is first house energy. This is ego energy. So this new moon, what is going to be happening? Well, so check this out. So we have ninth house we have an Aries stellium. So this is Sun, Moon, and Mercury all in the same sign in the ninth house. The ninth house, if you don't know what that is, this has to do with travel, this has to do with higher learning, this has to do with that big energy. It is is usually ruled by Jupiter and, and Sagittarius. So your mind your emotions and your ego are all in alignment, ladies and gentlemen. So re get ready, set, go. Take action now. To put the and you're feeling it. You want to pull the trigger. Finally, finally, it's time to get it done. So that's what that ninth house, Aries stellium, and the sun, and the moon, and the sun, and the moon, on the new moon. Yes, on the new moon. So we also have a seventh house. Aquarius stellium on this new moon, Aries, April 1st. So, kind of feeling a little distant from our romantic partnerships, maybe even our business partners. Might even get in some little heated debates. We might be kind of art in a little bit of arguments, or at least kind of like definitely, you know, not afraid to speak our mind and feeling a little bit distant and emotion from those emotions. So, my predictions for this new moon, what are they? My predictions for the world stage, I kind of see tempers and egos of some of these world leaders kind of full of hot air, you know. There's still going to be some like chest pumping and some like, bah, you know. Hmm. There's going to be this that's what I see. So I see on the world stage, there's definitely going to be some, um, definitely some, some venting and maybe even some public displays of, of, of kind of being arrogant and um, almost kind of being uh, disrespectful. But also I see a stagnation happening in the marketplace as well. I see some businesses that were really um, kind of doing really well, long-term businesses kind of splitting up or maybe in the process of kind of, you know, not, you know, breaking up and, you know, kind of some places that kind of join together, merges that happen are now kind of unmerging. So Jupiter and Neptune and Pisces in the eighth house. So I'm, I think this says to me is that some, you need to invest in long-term investments. Don't try to make any quick money on the new moon. Plant if you're, if you're gonna plant this seed in this new moon, Aries new moon, my suggestion is to invest in some, maybe some S, SP 500 or something that's got longevity. So that is my predictions for this Aries woman. So some new moon suggestions. Okay, um, I would say this is the perfect time to write your business plan. 
use this Aries energy to do, 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 and stop wasting time. Go for it, you know. We're not getting any younger, nothing's gonna happen any sooner. You got to get it going. So another suggestion I would for this Aries moon is I would also say, you know, take time to be focusing on the self, where, you know, practice a little self-love, you know, kind of baby yourself and pamper yourself this Aries new moon, you know, there's nothing wrong with, I know that we kind of, as a, as a, as a group, have kind of been shaming narcissism, but that narcissism is the unhealthy version of the, of the ego. It is, is, it is the opposite response of a healthy ego. When you look at your ego in a healthy way, when you look at this new moon Aries in a healthy way, it's not that you're being selfish and self-centered. You're filling up your cup, man. you got to have a full cup. You've got to be a complete person before you get out of this. And so it's just about checks and balances, checks and balances. So anyway, I want to thank you so much, ladies and gentlemen. Be sure to check out my website. I keep saying, saying this. Check out my website. Check out my website, astrologyobsessed.com. One more time. It is astrologyobsessed.com for private readings, for one-on-one -on -one coaching, and you want to talk to this crazy girl, well, you know where to go and book me. So, um, And also be sure to comment, like, subscribe. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm sending you my love.